Hey YouTubers, welcome to Todd's Everyday Gourmet. Uh, tonight I am making a, well basically a, a New England style gourmet corn chowder. Okay, everyone's like, oh corn chowder, everyone knows how to make that. Well you know what, not everybody knows how to make it. Not gourmet style anyway. There's so many different ways to make this uh, a corn chowder. So I'm going to start going live on Facebook. You'll hear me interacting with Hopefully some followers and watchers tonight. Okay, so bear with me one moment. Start this video. Hey Facebookers, welcome to Todd's Everyday Gourmet. How you doing tonight? Hey listen, I'm making a New England style gourmet corn chowder. I know you're all thinking everyone can make corn chowder, but you know what? This is different, and it's gourmet style, and it's really rich and creamy, okay? So... Bear with me. I'm going to get started right now. I'm also taping on YouTube, guys, so bear with me, everybody. First, well, kind of my second time taping uh, using two devices to go live. Okay, so go live. Madeline Thistlewood's watching. How you doing, Madeline? Making corn chowder. First, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going in with a stick of butter. I'm going to get that melted. And I'm going in with, I've got some bacon fat, okay? And I'm going in with three oh, teaspoons full, okay? Now what I'm going to do is i got my butter going. I'm going to scrape in some celery. i got probably about two cups of diced celery and probably about a cup of diced green peppers. That's going right in with my butter. I'm going to give it a whirl, stir it around. But yeah, that won't take long. And I got some onion. Hey, Shane, how you doing? I, I've got one medium onion dice. I like to cut my stuff kind of chunky, so that way if someone's eating something they don't like, they can pick it out. Okay, so, all right, so I got this going. Take just a couple of minutes. I just want to saute those up just a little bit. I'm going to set those right there. Okay. So... I've already got my potatoes diced, and this is cranked right on high, so I'm just going to put my cover on just for a second, okay? I'm not going to saute these long because they're going to go in with the potatoes and the water. Oh, Bonnie Leathers, how you doing? I love corn chowder too, and this is a chowder that I always make year-round. You know, down here on the island, we have a lot of foggy, misty, cool nights. And it's always, you know, nice to have with biscuits, which I'm going to have with this tomorrow night. I'm making this for tomorrow night. So, um, there, she's already starting to sizzle and saute away. So, celery, yeah, I always put celery in my chowders, in my fish chowders, my seafood chowders. I just love how the celery tastes. And green pepper, I love just a little bit of that in there, and that's... Tastes wonderful, too, in there. So, yeah, so go and make corn chowder is really pretty easy to make. Um, you start out with, you know, sauteing your vegetables and then add in your water, which I'm going to use some chicken broth and some water. And I'm going to bring that, throw my potatoes in, bring that to a bowl. They won't take long to cook. So, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm throwing in my onions now. Just going to give them a whirl around. Give those just a couple of minutes, just to kind of sweat a little bit. Done with that. So, oh, Jonathan Beal, how you doing? Yes, cutting it chunky does make sense. <laughs> I know, right? Well, I agree. I hate going someplace, well, I'm not that much of a fussy eater, but, you know, when you can find it, you can pick it out a lot easier. So, and it is Sunday evening, I am having a cocktail, guys. Hello. Cheers. We're watching basketball games. Yes, it does taste better the next day, Bonnie. I totally agree. Any soup, any chowder, any, uh, like, spaghetti sauce, anything like that always tastes better the next day. So, all right, I'm just going to run my water to get it really hot. Bear with me. So I got some chicken broth. I'm going to use some chicken broth right there. And get my water hot. I'm cooking on my I'm cooking on my island tonight, not my stove, because I thought you guys might be able to see better. 
But who knows? We'll see. I'm giving it a try. I'm just filling up some hot water in my big measuring cup thing here. Okay. So I got some hot water. I'm just going to turn my microwave on for a second. I got some corn in there. Um, I got some frozen corn. I usually, in the summertime, when I have corn on the cob, sometimes I roast it on the grill. Boom, slice it off. That goes in my chowder. Delicious. Sometimes I roast the corn in the oven, but I'm not doing that tonight. I'm just going to use some cream style corn and some uh, frozen corn that I've got. Now, I do know how to make cream style corn homemade from scratch. So easy, but I didn't, have, I didn't feel like doing it tonight. But that's another video, guys. Another video right there. Okay, these are already ready for me to add my potatoes. What I'm going to do first, though, is add my chicken broth. Uh, this is probably, well, it's 32 ounces. I'm going to use half of this. If I can get the cover off, guys. Jeez. Elsa. Hold on. How embarrassing. Okay, so I'm going in with half this box of chicken broth. Actually, I think I'll just add the whole box. Add more flavor. It won't taste like chicken, I promise. Okay, so there's that. Chicken broth. Give it a little whirl. I'm just going to put the cover on this just for a second. Got some my potatoes all diced. And I'm using... I'm using red skin potatoes and some main white potatoes. The main white potatoes I peeled. And the red skin potatoes, I leave the skin on. Put her all in there. Right, exactly. You got it, John. Put her in. Put her all in. That's right. Holly, darling, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. All right, so I'm going in with my potatoes. I'm going to use probably 10 medium potatoes. You guys might have to bear with me till this comes to a boil. Actually, I know what I can do to get it on a quicker boil. I'll throw it right over here on... On my gas burner. All right, I'm just going to give these a stir. Actually, i got to put a little bit more water in here. Because it's loaded with potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the top. Just to the top of my potatoes. Okay? i got mostly hot water in there. Okay, let me get this fired up over here on my burner. That don't, don't take long at all. So, what's everyone doing? To have a nice day out there today. You guys been doing outdoor at jaw, you know, cleaning up the yard from the winter. What? What's been going on? Kind of had an easy day here today. Um, you know, watching basketball, worked on taxes. Blah. Well, anyway, you know how it goes. So, anyway, we uh, kind of getting ready for spring. You know how it goes. So, go on make corn chowder. Uh, and I love when people share recipes with me. I love it. Like I'd like to, you know, um, have some new recipes. Now, this gourmet chowder, also, if you want to do a vegetable chowder, you could throw some fresh sliced carrots in there. I've done some broccoli, green beans, peas, you know, really a lot of mushrooms even. I, oh, God, I have made mushroom chowder before. I, it's really actually good. I only made it once in my lifetime. But it's really good. So now that I'm thinking about it, I may have to make that again. So, all right, let's get this going. I should have had my potatoes and stuff going because you guys pretty much get the gist on how to do a corn chowder, I'm sure. That's basically how I start mine. Um, so it's going to be really good. I'm going to throw in I guess, uh, some American white cheese. And I've got some Cooper Sharp cheese. And I've got some um, cream cheese. That's going to go in this chowder. And I got some light cream and a little bit of canned milk. So that's going to make it really nice. The cream cheese, actually, in the chowder adds a little silkiness and makes it a little bit more creamy. So you're going to really love this recipe. I'm telling you, it's the bomb. You know, the bomb for, you know, a corn chowder. So, you know, it's still cold here, so that's why I'm having a corn chowder. 
And like I said, I do make it year round. So let me uh, check on those potatoes. They're already starting to get heat up. So basically, once this heats up, um, I'm just going to add in my cream, my my cream, my, my corns. You know, my cream corn, my regular corn. Just let it heat through for a second. Then I'm going to add my cheeses and then my creams. Boom, you're done. Might add a little extra butter. So and I got some nice fresh bacon um, chopped up that I'll sprinkle on the top. Denise Jola, how you doing? I see you watching. Would you like to come live on camera so everybody can see us? See you watching me and me talking to you or no? <laughs> I've never used that feature. Anyone want to come on live? Let me know. We can talk back and forth, but everyone's going to see us. Any takers on that one? So anyway, my good friend Shayna Look, she's a doll and she is a wonderful home chef. And she's also working over here at the Bayview Takeout that just opened up. Libby darling, how are you? God, I miss you. Well, anyway, they just opened up this past week and they're open for the season and they're doing daily lunch specials like they did last year. Wonderful. So I can't wait to get over there. I'm going to go live with them at some point soon. Um, we've talked about this for a couple of years, but I wasn't feeling well last summer, so uh, that's why I didn't make it over there. But I want to go live, kind of do like a Guy Fieri type deal. So and I'm, they're up for it. So I can't wait to get over there. So anyway, and I'm going to start doing, you know, you'll see me live when I do my catering gigs. And uh, this summer on the grill, this summer definitely on the grill. I've got all kinds of wonderful things I want to share with you guys. So, um, you know, I hope you guys still follow me. I just need to get this to a boil and let it boil. You know, I'm not going to touch it. That's my problem. I like to touch the cover and open up and do some stirring, you know. So, anyway, what does everyone put in their corn chowder? Anything different that I haven't mentioned that I'm putting in mine? Or is it some people make it similar or what? I do like a nice milky cream corn chowder. My mom, she makes hers real milky. I like, well, and not a lot of guts. I like lots of guts. Lots of potatoes, onions, the celery, the green peppers, you know, the corn. You know, I do like the broth for the oyster crackers, you know, biscuits, whatever. So this will have some broth, but I like it chunky. But my mother makes it milky, and it always has a nice flavor. It's really good, but I like to... She probably killed me for saying that. Anyway, hey, Ma, how you doing? How's your corn chowder doing? <laughs> Actually, the cream cheese tip to make it silky and creamy... Is my mom's little secret. She taught me. So, mom, I'm going to give you credit for that one. I won't steal that tip from you. I promise. So, anyway, Denise, what you been up to? You, you got a new job. I heard you got done at Shaw's. I think my mother told me that. She don't want to come live on camera. I don't blame her. Okay. I guess, I, oh yeah, she's starting to bubble now. All right, I got a full pot of chowder here. I hope this pot's going to be big enough to hold all the ingredients. It'll be right to the top, I'm, I guarantee it. So, Well, I'm getting hot. This burning's on in my face now. It's, tur it's, it's actually cooking my face. <laughs> I'm turning red, you guys. Larry Alley, hello. How are you? Thanks for tuning in. Making a gourmet-style uh, corn chowder, New England-style gourmet, that is. So I got my potatoes kind of getting ready to boil now. I'm going to let them go for a few minutes. They won't take long. So, Oh, Trudy Falkenham Alley. How are you doing, Trudy? Thanks for tuning in, darling. I really appreciate it. How's things at work? Busy, 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 I bet. Especially getting to be spring. Things must be getting a little bit more hectic. Down at AC Inc., that is. So, okay, guys. Once I get this boiling, I can bring it over to this burner. And finish what I need to be doing. So, yeah, so I, I'm using, uh, pro, I'm saying for like the cheeses, not including the cream cheese. Uh, I would say I got about a half a pound of the Cooper Shop and the American. Mostly white American, just a few slices of the Cooper Shop. And then I've got the uh, the cream cheese, which will be going. Oh my God, I cannot wait for this. I'm telling you, I get myself excited. There I go, I'm back into the pot. Okay, you guys, I really apologize. I should have had those potatoes going, but I really wanted to show you right from the beginning how I do this chowder, okay? So, just bear with me. You guys don't mind. I can chat away, have a cocktail with someone. 
My mother's like, oh, you don't need to be drinking doing those videos. I only have one. One drink. So, anyway, Trudy, they're going to eat clams down there, they see. I want to make some clam fritters again. I'm going to go live making clam fritters on YouTube. Clam cakes, you know, I call them clam cakes slash fritters. But anyway, so, all right, let me check on that. I can't check on it. I keep checking it. So, anyway, all right. Sorry about this, guys. This little delay. I try to make these videos fast, but sometimes I, they're not as fast as I hope they'll be, you know. So, so Johnny, you still on here watching? I'm sure I'll hopefully see you sometime this summer. I didn't see you last summer, but I knew you were here. Okay. Now, it says I can go live on YouTube. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm not sure how to bring people on live there, but uh, I'll just share my, after this video, I'll share this on my page. I just am asking my fans and followers and friends, family, to please like, share, subscribe with all your friends. Invite friends to like the pages. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know? So, anyway, let me check the potatoes. Oh, yeah. Because once this gets boiling, those potatoes ain't going to take long to cook at all. Just because, you know, they're diced. Like I said, I use about 10 medium um, to large potatoes in that. Oh, my dog's outside barking. I wonder what, who she's barking at. Let me check this corn. All right, guys. Okay. Oh, I'm doing good entertainment. John, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Wish you were here. We could whip up something in the kitchen. Although we've never cooked anything in the kitchen before, have we? We've done some drinking in the kitchen before, that's for sure. Eating chips and dip. <laughs> Back in our younger years. Fun, fun, fun. I can't stay. I, I gotta leave this alone. Leave it alone, guys. Leave it alone. So actually what I'm going to do, once this comes over, I'm just going to season. And I'll use... Um, just some salt, pepper, parsley flakes, and some garlic powder. And some sugar. A little bit of sugar. LOL, yeah. Right, John? You know the good old days. Just the good old days. Oh, actually, this boys, but you know. God, I hate waiting for the pot to boil. It drives me crazy, guys, sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And that's a supercharged burner. Who knows? So I shaved totally clean today for the first time in years, even though I kept it close to my face. It's all gray and white, so why keep it? So I said, I'm going to shave it off. You know, why not? All right, guys. Let's see what we got going here. She's almost there. She just wants to go. She really wants to get going. She wants to rock and roll, and she will soon. With some Patsy, that's right, Patsy Klein. God, I haven't listened to her forever. I still like my old-time music, but I haven't heard her for a while. I think some night I'll get Sweet Pea over here. Everyone know who Sweet Pea is? All my local peeps works at the grocery store, Leanne Hazelton. When she's feeling better, I'm going to have her over some night. And we're going to sing a duet live. Can't wait. Maybe we'll sing some Patsy. Patsy Klein. Mm. I just had an onion out of there. They're just about cooked. Yeah. So... Oh, you sound just like your cousin Frank. He always says I should have some music in there, too. Christine's telling me to leave the pot alone, Christine, darling. What pot? The pot on the stove? <laughs> okay. Thanks for tuning in, Christine. I really appreciate it. Making corn chowder. Gourmet-style corn chowder, that is. Gourmet all the way. Wow, I'm getting hot sitting over that burner. 
You guys will see the steam coming out of here in just a minute. I keep saying that, but holy moly. Oh my God, please. John, right? Yeah, we're going to do it. I'll even message you before we do it so you can tune in. We're going to go live with it. Well, she doesn't know it because she always records hers and uploads, but I like to go live. Tracy, oh my God, how you doing, my my sister cuz? I know, I'm live tonight. I can't believe it. I didn't tell anybody either. Last minute, making corn chowder for tomorrow night. Yeah. How you doing? You having a couple cocktails tonight? Boom, I'm having one. I might have one more after this, actually. All right, guys. You know, so we do up here in Maine on a Sunday afternoon, evening. Have a few cocktails, do some cooking. You know how it goes. Oh, look, yeah, see the steam? She's finally boiling, guys. I'm going to let it go good for about a minute, then I'm going to bring her back over here, okay? Thanks for tu tuning in. Oyster Capone's watching. Awesome. <laughs> John, right. That's what everybody says. You're going to stay tuned, come live for that one? I don't blame you because it's going to be funny. All right. I hope she ain't one. Yes, Leanne, you know we're going to have a good time. We're going to entertain the folks. They're going to love it. If you, All right, so this is boiling. She's good and hot. Smelling good already. God, I don't know if I need to transfer this to a bigger pot, you guys. I might have to. I've got it loaded with onions and celery, cream peppers, tons of potatoes, because I like lots of guts in mine. So, oyster capone, you kill it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Christine, not tonight. I know about work day tomorrow. That's right. All right, I'm going to take my corn out because that's just frozen corn all ready to go in. All right, she's got a good boil going on now. Maybe I'll just leave it right here. She'll cook fast. Get a big, get a big, I should already, shouldn't I? I have, I, oh, I got one I can use. Hold on, guys, I'll grab one. Alright. Hey guys, I love this pot right here. I got it for Christmas from my mom. And I've never had a stock pot with a see-through cover. I am so about this. I can't wait to cook lobsters and clams and all that in it. This is not the huge stock pot. It's like a medium one. But I might as well use it. Let me move this pot over. That's got oil in it. Here we go. I love this. It's got all the measurements right on the side. I'm just going to die away. Actually, I better scoop her in. Well, I think I can just dump it in. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let me just get that. That'll take just a second to eat up. Yeah. Now I'll have plenty of room to make that. Then I'm going to put it right over here. I don't think she'll take long. Now, what I'm going to do right now while that... Oh, BJ Alley's watching from up near Bucksport. BJ, how you doing? Haven't seen you. You know what I'm waiting for. Still wait for that present. Told you I'd cook you something. I'm going to throw my frozen corn in right now. Even though it's thawed out. I just want to get it in there. It's already starting to boil. All right. Coming over here. With the paw. There. She's boiling away. Shut that off. Okay, guys. Too bad you can't see what's in this pot because she's a lot taller now. And covering my stomach, thank God. All right, guys. Stirring the corn in. God, I think it could use a little bit more corn. Hold on. Just going to throw in about another cup of corn, you guys. It's frozen, but she'll thaw out in no time. Boom. Especially where I've increased the, the size of the chowder. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Oh my god, you guys. I'm going to show you just what it looks like without... And it's just about cooked. Look at this. Yes, I do need someone to wash all the dishes. Trudy, you offering? In the restaurant, yeah. I, oh, Jackie, how you doing? No, Donnie's not washing dishes. See, YouTube? That's how it looks. No, he's not washing dishes, you guys. He's watching basketball games with Ricky. They're in the living room watching basketball while I'm out here cooking some chowder. Um, oh, that corn thaw out two seconds flat, John. You know that. Okay, I just want to get that to another boil. My potatoes are just about done already. I can't believe it. She'll thaw in that with no time. You know it. So, yeah. So, anyway, got the corn in. Bringing it back to a boil. Then I'm going to let it go about two minutes. Then I'm going to go into my cream style corn. More corn, you think? Yeah, more corn. Not a rutabaga either, BJ. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in all the way from up Bucksport. Down, I got viewers from Portland. I got viewers from Oregon on tonight. That would be Emily. I think she's on. Um, my cousins from Portland, Oregon. I got people from Norwich Walk, Waterville. God, God, I got all kinds of people tonight. I'm loving it. All right. Yeah. She was boiling. Until I added that cold corn in there. You know what I mean? Alright guys. I'm going to get this wrapped up for you. I've been 20 minutes here. Well, 25 minutes. I usually try to wrap these videos up in about a half an hour. But, I might go a few minutes over tonight. I don't mind if you guys don't mind. I could sit here all night and cook for you guys. So what's next, huh? All right. I love this cover because I can actually see when it's starting to boil. So, okay. I know I got my cousin Tracy watching. I'm dying for her. I want her to do a cooking video so bad. She's a wonderful cook. And she does, you know, she does these comparison videos, like for pricing, like in the grocery stores. And she does fabulous with it. I don't know why she doesn't do a cooking video. I know. She's waiting for me and her to do one together. That's what it is. Aren't you, Tracy? I think it is. She is. She loves me. She's like, oh, well, he shut up already. Oh, Meredith Kane. All my... Peeps from the Winslow, Waterville, Greater Augusta area, Vassarboro, Oakland, whatever. Meredith Kane, she's on Facebook. Just She has a regular page. She just started herself a catering business. She had her, her first gig today, and she posted food on her page. Everything looked wonderful and delish, delicious. So I am hoping that you guys will... Go to her page and, you know, check it out. Uh, I'm trying to convince her to do a page like mine so she can do it. Just all her food on it. And, um, <laughs> big daddy. Take it, yeah. So, she is starting. So, guys, give her, give her a chance. You'll love her food. She's got a great personality. And she's a lot of fun. So, um, Meredith, good luck to you, darling. I'm so happy. Happy for you. Especially if cooking is your passion. Follow your dreams. So, all right. Okay, this is boiling. I'm just going to stir a little bit. I don't want my potatoes to mush. Yeah, all right. I think she's a little bit slower on that. Yes, yeah, someday we'll do Yeah, definitely, Tracy. Definitely. Hopefully this summer when you come to visit. When you come to visit. BJ, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I just enjoy cooking. That's all there is to it, you know? Okay, so YouTube, how you guys doing out there? I forget that I'm taping. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just on Facebook, but YouTube. So anyway, that's the, the startings of this chowder. She, as soon as she gets boiling, I'm going to let her go about uh, two minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to add, actually, I think I'm just going to throw it back on this burner. Just for a couple seconds, because that's an electric burner. I'm so used to cooking on gas. I hate cooking on electric. Sheldon Alley, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. 
uh, making a New England style gourmet corn chowder here on Beals Island. So I got it on my back. I was cooking on a burner right here, but it's not fast enough because it's electric. Oh, Sarah, how you doing? BJ enjoys eating, yeah. Yes, definitely Tracy. So this will boil in no time. And then I'll throw it back on here while I add my cheeses and my milk. God almighty. So, yeah. Uh, Sarah. Oh, BJ just enjoys eating, period. Yeah, I know. I'm with them on that one. Sure. I know he enjoyed my cooking when he used to eat here all the time. Tracy. Oh, Tracy, I love watching you too, darling. All right. God, this is putting me in pain. I'm ready to add stuff. It's almost done. Christine, I know, darling. I should have been a little bit more prepared tonight. But it's a nice pot, isn't it? Thanks to my beautiful mother. Given it to me for Christmas. I needed a new one because I destroyed my old one last last year. Well, last summer, actually. Cooked too many lobsters in it. All right. Yeah. I told you she'd be boiling in no time. Ah, just bear with me, guys. She's almost grown. Well, oh, jeez. You putting that on live, Sarah, about his weight? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know. Big guy. I used to weigh almost the same. Actually, I was two pounds heavier than that at one point. I weighed 267. And now I'm down to 200 pounds. I'd like to go down five more pounds and stop. Just this. Christine, you're a darling. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to give that a whirl. Let me test one of my potatoes. Oh, I got a knife right here. I just go down through the knife. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just coming back over here. Here we go. I'm playing musical pots tonight. Oh, my God. I guess she's boiling all right. Holy mother. All right, guys. Look. Turn down a bit. Going in. Finally. With two cans of cream-style corn. Dump it right in. I dump it right there. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of stir that in. Just going to heat this through just for a second. Yum. Okay, now, now, I'm going in with spices. Salt. I'm going to shake another pinch. I'm putting about a table, tea, good rounded teaspoon of salt. Because I didn't put any in the water when the potatoes were cooking. So I'm going to go heavy with my salt. Got some chicken bouillon in there. This is a big pot, too. I want flavor. All right. Now I'm going in with some black pepper. Well, not that black pepper because it's gone. So I'll go in with some of this black pepper. I think I'll do it this way. Last time I dumped pepper in with the wide side open, I had put a lot more than I planned on. So i got to be very careful. And I'm putting a good teaspoon and a half of pepper. I like my pepper. Yeah. And this is black coarse pepper, so it is a little bit hotter. Oh, I love you too, Christine, darling. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully bump into you at the grocery store soon. Oh, thank you, Sarah, darling. I didn't lose weight because I was trying. I wasn't. I hadn't felt good the past year. So, but now I'm just trying to gain some muscle. That's all I want to gain is muscle, not weight. But who knows the way I like to eat. Okay, now I'm going in with just a couple, a little bit of garlic. God, that's onion powder. I want garlic. I don't put much because I don't want a heavy garlic. I'm putting probably about a half a teaspoon. Like I said, I don't want to go heavy with the garlic. And I'm just sprinkling in some parsley flakes. That adds some nice little coloring. Oh, probably about a tablespoon. If I had fresh parsley, I'd use that, but the store didn't have any today. So, let me just stir that in. All right. God, smelling good, you guys. Now, 
to gourmet this up. Okay? I'm going in with my cheese. I got about a half a pound of cheese here. Just white American, some Cooper Shop. Actually, I think I'm going to put more in now that I... Going right into the cream cheese. And I got some more cheese, because where I made extra, I better throw it in. Where the hell is the cheese? Alright, guys. Uh, this is smelling so good, you guys. Really? I'm just going to throw the rest of this in. It's probably about a quarter of a pound. And that will melt nice and easy once it gets all stirred in. Now, I'm going to throw in a couple pieces more of the Cooper Shot. Probably three slices. Now just... And it won't taste, make it taste weird. I'll save the other couple pieces and have those on crackers. Got it. All right, so, bear with me. Almost done. Almost done, guys. And I really appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys all bearing with me while I did the shout out. I thought it'd go a lot quicker. All right. Now I'm just gonna stir the cheese in. Now after you stir this cheese in and get it melting, um, it's going to almost look like you added your cream to it. I'm just going to let that melt in for a few seconds. Put my cover on. So, basically, that's all you do is just let this cheese heat through and melt in through. Give it a whirl. Give it a stir. And then, add in your creams. Now, I'm using uh, light cream. And I'm using some canned milk. So, and I've already got my butter in there. I put one whole stick of butter in the beginning, right when I uh, sauteed my um, cheese mix. Everything better. That's right, Tracy. I am on the same page. Definitely. So, yeah. So, and like I said, the cream cheese in this is just going to make it a little more silky, a little bit more creamy. And you only need about a quarter of a block. I wouldn't put half a block because you don't want the cream cheese. You know, you know, it's not supposed to taste like cheese chowder. But you, you suppose it, it can, you know, like a... Yeah, cheese chowder. Corn cheese chowder. Why not? Let's call it that. All right, let me give this a whirl. Stirring that cheese in. My cream cheese was at room temperature, so that will melt in nicely. Oh, my word. Wow. So this is what it's looking like, you guys. Before I add the cream in, okay? There it is. That makes it a little creamier. Bear with me. I'm making everybody dizzy. Myself, too. Okay, you two. Here we go. In the pot. This is before I add the cream and all that stuff into it. All right. Let me just set this over here. Okay, guys. Bear with me. All right. Just going to get this cheese melted. Once that's melted, I'm stirring her in my creams. And I'll post a pic. Rachel Jakes. How Cousin Rachel Jakes, how are you doing? Oh, thank you. You want the recipe? I'll be posting it on here after with a, pictures of some in a bowl. She's almost there. I'm just waiting for that cream cheese to soften up and melt down. Oh, my God. Is this smelling good? And it's already looking like a chowder because of the melted cheeses. So, hey, Rachel, Cousin Tracy's watching. I got two cousins watching tonight. One all the way from California. Wow. Thanks for tuning in, Rachel. Is Cousin Paz there with you and your children? Hi to you all. Come to Maine and visit. Come to Maine and visit and come to the island. You'll have fun down here. We'll go kayaking, we'll cook, party, eat, you know. We'll bring all the cousins down. All right, guys. I don't know why. Oh, I see. I got a chunk of cream cheese that doesn't want taking its time to melt. Oh, you should see how creamy it's looking already. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. I never thought I'd go live making corn chowder. 
I can cook so many more, so many different things. It's not funny. But this, you know, when I told my, I told my friend of mine, I was going live making corn chowder. She goes, my God, corn. I said, you'd be surprised at people that don't know how to make a corn chowder. You know, especially one that's going to be this delicious. So now this is still melting a little bit, but the only thing I did forget to put in, and I'm only going to put in about three tablespoons and that's just a little bit of sugar. Kind of, you know, where it got the corn in it. And I'll put four. Call it good. Stirring that in. Oh, my God, you guys. I wish you... Mmm. Just smells so good already. Yeah, I'll help that cheese out. God, I thought this little electric burner worked great. It did the other night, the other day when I did some stuff on here, but... Who knows? Well, she's melted anyway. I'm going in with my creams now. She ain't going to need much. First, I'm going in with some canned milk. I'm only going to use about oh, half a can. And that's just what's in here. Okay. Now, some light cream. Sometimes I use heavy cream, but I, I decided to use some light cream today. I'm only going in with half of it. Oh, my God. Look at this. Nice and chunky. All right. Now, this is just, I'm just going to let this heat through now, and she's done. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, I still got... Is that a thing of cream cheese? What is that? Oh, I still got a piece of cheese in here melting. Oh, well. She'll melt. I think it's I think it's actually a piece of Swiss. I bought some cheese ends, and I thought it was all American. Oh, well. Won't hurt it at all, guys. Are you trying to smell... Oh, Jackie, it smells so good. It smells so good. And I'm actually going to take a taste. I'm just going to let it heat through a little bit. All right, guys. Done with this cream. I'm going to put it away. All right, guys. Now, let's, just for the fun of it. All right. Get a bowl here. Get a bowl. Mm, look at this. Just going to look at this. Oh, my God, you guys. Okay. Let me get a chowder spoon. All right. Going to move this now that it's done. I'm going to put it on low over here just for a few minutes. All right. Shut that damn. Well, actually, that burnt out. Okay. Well, no wonder it wasn't boiling. Okay, you guys. Look here. This corn chowder. I'm trying to this. Mmm. I'm gonna take a taste, but it's too hot. Mmm. Mmm. Freaking hot but delicious. Freaking hot but delicious. Oh. Mmm. Exactly the flavors I want. Um. Celery's cooked just, I'm, oh my god, you guys, I'm telling you, you're in for a treat with this. Gourmet corn chowder at its best. I'm Tides Everyday Gourmet. You guys got to try this recipe. I will post it on my page. The recipe and some pictures. Um, that's it. You guys, we're done. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, share. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube page. I'll share that link uh, sometime this evening. Um, so, again, I hope you guys had a great uh, weekend. Have a wonderful work week. And catch me next time, live, on Todd's Everyday Gourmet. Have a good night, guys. See you later.